morning YouTubers, 46 days to Iron Man is a Monday which means it is a rest day for me. Just on my way now to the gym for a sauna and a deep tissue roller session. Then later I have some meetings and some work commitments. Feeling good. Glad that I had a recovery week last week and the intensity was reduced slightly. Feel that my body is now ready to commit to the next three weeks worth of an increase in uh, not only endurance but food alterations, enhancements and improvements. not long now, you know, time's ticking, I think I'm on track and ready, I'm feeling confident in myself and happy, it's a couple of small things that I would have changed or would like to have changed looking back and reflecting. certainly learn a lot more about what I can achieve, what is possible for me. And what I can change for my next project. having a Facebook conversation with someone that I know just this morning they're doing something on the same day a different type of event more of a bodybuilding fitness aesthetic event on the 21st of May she was saying about how she wanted to, or was looking for the next thing you know, what was the project after now I, can't, I, I think I know what I'm going to be doing after and she I think knows what she's going to be doing after and we were talking about the day and whether there was any concern or anxiety or anything like that and I've been saying this for a while and I think it's important just to reflect back on it mention it again ever so briefly but for me it's about the journey it's about the transition and the learning internally knowing what's right what's wrong what can be approved and what is um, going to need some alterations some adjustments you know the main day the race the event is very important, don't get me wrong. It's key, in fact. It's something that, you know, you're working towards. It's very well and good signing up for these things, committing, doing what's required, buying the kit, committing to a training program. If you're struggling to get out of bed in the morning because you don't like it, if you're struggling with finding happiness within that then it's not worth doing just for the sake of a t-shirt or for the sake of a finishing line photo just showing what what you've done I don't think it's worth it I think there's much better things you could be doing with your energy with your effort with your time with your money of the effort or the overall energy spent has to be in the journey. The completion is finishing that line or finishing within the time or whatever the goal is set. But ultimately, it's got to be about the journey. Every day you've got to wake up, you've got to endure that session. If you 
you're training around a career or a job, a nine to five job, and you know, getting up at 4.30, 5 o'clock to be at the pool, training for two hours, then to go and work a day, then to get home and sit on the turbo for an hour, it takes a hell of a lot of commitment. If you're not enjoying it, ask yourself why you're doing it. Honestly, say that every day so far I've enjoyed at least one thing, and the positives throughout my whole journey so far have completely outweighed any negative that has reared its head. It's not been easy, you know, don't get me wrong, it's not been easy. Don't you know, this, this is a A, an expensive, and within that word expensive I don't mean financially, though it is, it's an expensive outlay of energy, time and commitment. Is it worth it? Right now, in the present, answering that, 100% it's worth it. And the reason it's worth it is because of the internal learnings the learnings that I've had about what is possible for me. That's why it's worth it. So the reflection today is, is it worth it? That's the question I think most of us need to ask ourselves in a lot of things that we're doing. in sporting activities, but in most of the things that we work with or commit to. Excuse me! <laughs> Tired. Uh, yeah, so that's it for now. I will catch up with you later on. Have a good Monday if you're watching this in real time. If you're watching this in the future, have a good day. Be safe and peace out. Day four of my urinalysis test. And today I've not done any exercise and just kept my hydration levels what I would normally have or consume. And it's shown really because my hydration levels are well, I'm mildly dehydrated. Uh, everything else is fine. Uh, my bilirubin is negative, glucose negative, my ketones is negative, no blood in the urine. Um, it's later in the day and I'm yet to eat, so my pH levels are as what I would expect uh, for this time of the day. Uh, and then my protein and all of those above are perfectly fine. So just about to eat now, I'd expect the pH levels to adjust accordingly uh, because of that. And I'm gonna take on 22 ounces of electrolytes now to hydrate myself a little bit better uh, than what is currently showing. So it's only one test today and that's it for now. Day four of my blood glucose test. Uh, no exercise done today and I've just eaten in the last 15 minutes. So there we have it, uh, 5.0, 6.54 p.m. on the 4th of April.